I wonder if you're listening to this today, are you facing insurmountable odds in your life right now? And what you're faced with just seems so overwhelming and so impossible and so hopeless. Maybe physically you're just not well and you're worried about yourself. Uh, maybe you have a financial problem. Uh, maybe a relationship that was precious to you has just broken down. Uh, maybe you have some sort of an addiction that you just can't let go of. And you can't see any answer to your problem or any way out. Well, let me tell you something. God wants you to know that he is much bigger than your titanic towering giant. Now, he may not provide a quick answer, but he wants you to know that he is the answer. Let me read you a few verses from the Old Testament from the story of David and Goliath. 1 Samuel 17, verses 43 to 45. Goliath said to David, Am I a dog that you come at me with sticks? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. Come here, he said, and I'll give your flesh to the birds and the wild animals. David said to the Philistine, You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. Folks, we all know the story. David was a young man when he encountered Goliath. He was much younger than anyone else in the Israelite army that surrounded him that day. But his trust in God was years beyond any of those soldiers. Some might try to explain it away with youthful recklessness. But David had seen God at work in his life. And he trusted God to do it all again. So David stepped up in the name of the Lord and he allowed God to use him to slay the Philistine giant. Whatever giant or mountain you're facing today, know that God is with you as you face it. How the Lord chooses to slay it, well, that's up to him. It may be sudden like it was with David. It might be subtle or it might take a while. Whatever way he chooses, let me reassure you that he will be faithful to you. God is in the business of slaying giants and no weapon fashioned against us can prosper. Just trust in the Lord and watch him to work. Throw yourself on his unfailing love and believe in God's sovereign power. With God, absolutely nothing is impossible. Stand firm on the rock of Jesus Christ and in faith as you pray and as you read from God's word, God will bring you victory. God bless you all.